A statue of Johnny McDonald toppled by protesters in a Montreal park. Now, after three years of consultations, the city has decided the statue of Canada's first prime minister will not be placed back on its pedestal. For some people, it would have been the right thing to do to put it back. Some people would have wanted to that would break it down. The statue will be restored and displayed somewhere else. In its place, Montreal will commission new artwork and a plaque to acknowledge the controversy. This is a really a sensitive matter. Some people are scared that it might be erased, but for us, what we think is that McDonald will still remain with or without a statue. Notre gouvernement est très clair. Faut pas réécrire l'histoire. Il faut. Euh... Quebec's Minister of Culture says Montreal's decision rewrites history, but others say it corrects it. I believe that the statue being placed up without any context for so long has erased so much of our history, of our communities and the damages he's done. John A. Macdonald was behind many of Canada's racist policies toward Indigenous people, including the residential school system. <laughs> Statues of him have been targeted across the country, some vandalized, others completely torn down. In several cases, municipalities decided to remove them proactively, but many jurisdictions are still deciding what to do with the statues and the sites. Removing a statue of, of one man who's long dead and putting a few plaques in artwork, is, it's a nice gesture. We have, to, we have to look at how and why and, and on what curriculum resources we have in our schools. Canada has plenty of streets, parks and buildings named after the first prime minister. Many of those are up for a name change too, like this parkway. It has the new name Kichizibi Mekon, Algonquin for Great River Road. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.